Hey guys, it's Kevin at TrueLift Digital Marketing. And if you're interested in learning how to use online marketing to grow your business, I thought I'd share with you some clips from a private invite training that I did titled Creating an Online Success Framework that Elite Marketers Use to Grow and Scale Their Businesses that you can easily model to effectively grow your business. In that training, I go over a lot of the basics of online marketing, which I'll share with you in these clips. So whether you're new to online marketing or even if you've been at it for a while, I think there's a lot of value that you can get from these particular clips. In this particular clip from that training, I quickly share a tip on where to put your focus when you're coming up with product and service ideas that will dramatically improve your business. And then I get into how marketing is contrasted with sales and how marketing fits into your overall business. Let's check out that clip now. Whether you're just starting a business or have had one running for a while, I think there's a tendency, whether it's an online or offline business, to put your focus on what product or service you're going to offer and lose sight of the fact that whatever your product or service is, the focus should first be on the problem that you're trying to help someone solve before the product. Once you know the problem, from there you create the product or service that solves that problem, not the other way around. You don't want to create a product, or for that matter, offer a service first and then try to make it fit a problem. This little shift in focus allows you to better serve your customers because often the solution to a problem that a customer has often leads to a new problem. And if your focus is on solving your customer's problems, rather than just focusing on a specific product, you can increase the value that you offer to that customer by serving them at a higher level. And as business owners, we are paid in direct proportion to the value that we create in the marketplace. These two points will make more sense as we get into the online success framework. We're just setting the stage here so that you can get the most out of this framework. Which leads me to a definition I heard for business, which I believe is quite accurate and a good way to look at it. Business is really solving problems at a profit. That's really what it boils down to, isn't it? As a business owner, you are a problem solver. The better you are at solving those problems through your products and services, the more effective you will be in your business and the more revenue your business will generate. So if we accept that business is solving problems at a profit, and we base our products around solving those problems. In order for a business to survive and thrive and be profitable, you also need revenue, which means you have to be able to sell your product or service and make sales. So if you look at things like a continuum, on one side you have your business, the entity that solves problems through your product or service, and on the other side you have sales. But a great product or service does not equal great sales. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll have, heard from me, you'll have heard me say this quite a bit. You can have the greatest product or service in the world, but if no one has ever heard of it, you aren't going to get very far. So between that problem solution based business and the sales of your product required to keep the lights on is the critical part that a lot of businesses skip or don't know about or don't know how to do effectively, which is what we're going to be talking about and focusing on in this training. And that of course is marketing. Now I know that you know that and you're obviously interested in marketing or you wouldn't be here, but you might be surprised like I was just how many businesses that have great products have no idea or surprisingly desire to market their business. They focus on the product, but not the awareness in the marketplace of that product. And then they're confused as to why their sales suck and they're struggling. I recently did some marketing consulting for a SaaS company, software as a service. They've been in business for about seven years have a tremendous service that they offer, are really smart guys, and while they have had some success with some very high profile clients, they lost a big contract and have struggled considerably because they didn't understand the point that I just made. A killer product or service really means nothing if nobody's ever heard of it. So if sales is collecting money when a transaction is made, marketing is really the process or steps involved in getting people to want to do business with you. This is great news for people that have concerns over selling. Many business owners have a fear of appearing too salesy when it comes time to sell a product. We need to actually sell, otherwise we're going to go out of business pretty quick. But that process doesn't have to be, and shouldn't be, some kind of pushy hard sell. In fact, here's a quote from Peter Drucker which I believe is quite spot on. The aim of marketing is to make selling superfluous. The aim of marketing is to know and understand your customer so well that the product or service fits him and sells itself. In order to keep these videos short, I think this is a good spot to cut this one. However, if you're interested in what I've been saying and you're interested in learning more, the next clip that I have from that private invite training deals with another marketing basics component of the customer journey. It's critical to understand where your customer is coming from, where they want to go, and meeting them where they currently are so that you can help solve their problems. If you're interested in checking out the next clip, simply click the link on your screen right now or look for a link in the description area and you'll be taken to that video. 
or if you're interested in checking out the full training on creating an online success framework that elite marketers use to grow and scale their businesses that you can easily model to effectively grow your business, you can do so for free, no opt-in, no credit card required, by going to EliteOMS.com, that stands for Elite Online Marketing System, or click the link on your screen or in the description area. If you choose to view either of those videos, I'll see you over there.